Anyways, guys, it's your boy Blasphemous HD. So, I found something that looks honestly, utterly kind of terrifying. Um, now, right now, you guys can't tell, but it's nighttime here. It's literally 2 o'clock in the morning, 2.30 in the morning, actually. And uh, I probably should not be reading these because, like, you know, I'm, I get scared very easily and I'm at home alone right now. So, I really probably shouldn't read these because, you know, your boy gotta go to sleep in a half an hour or so. Okay, so this video is called 20 Terrifying Two Sentence Horror Stories That Will Make You Hold Your Breath. Let's get it poppin'. Of course, the first one starts off as like, this one's caught my eye. This one caught my eye and got me like, like reading these to y'all. There was a picture in my phone of me sleeping. I live alone. Like, what the f do you do, yo? What the f do you do, bro? Like, that sounds like some paranormal activity. You know, like a serial killer just comes in your house, sleeps under your bed, and when you go to sleep, comes from up under your bed and takes a picture of you with your own phone. Like, they know where you're at, bro, and they're just waiting to murder you. Like, I, I would move. I would move, yo. I would be, I'll be out of there. This house, everything in it, I'd be gone. I'd pay movers to come, get my sh Pack it up and get me the f out of here. I ain't doing it, yo. I was having a pleasant dream when what sounded like hammering woke me. After that, I could barely hear the muffled sound of dirt covering the coffin over my own screams. That's not as bad as the first one. That's nowhere near as bad as the first one, yo. I woke up to hear knocking on glass. At first, I thought it was the window until I heard it come from the mirror again. Oh my God. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't be reading these at night, bro. I can't do this. Uh, I used to live in a haunted house when I was a kid. Yes, I'll leave the link in the description down below if some of you guys still haven't heard that story. But I used to live in a haunted house when I was a kid. And it was hands down the scariest thing that I've ever witnessed, you know? Uh, but because of that, I believe in paranormal shit. I believe in ghosts. I believe in a lot of shit that really has me questioning being in this house alone right now. I'll go find something to do till daylight, man. I don't know why I'm reading this shit tonight, yo. I can't move, breathe, speak, or hear. And it's so dark all the time. If I knew it would be this lonely, I would have been cremated instead. Okay, that's creepy. I'm legit freaked out now, bro. I really am. I'm hearing little sounds and it's really, 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 really with me, man. And I'm not even joking. Not even y'all, man. I'm like real freaked out, bro. I don't know. I just... Okay, so one thing that I did kind of get from living in that haunted house is that I know what the feeling of I'm being watched is, right? When there's somebody around and I can't see them, or what if someone's watching you and you can't see them? So after living in a house, I understand the difference between just freaking yourself out and when someone's really there, you know? Cause I would get that feeling all the time in that house if someone was watching me, right? So luckily enough for me, right now, I don't feel like I'm being watched. I don't feel like I'm being watched. But I am freaked out. So it helps because a piece of me understands that nothing is probably wrong and no one's probably here, but I'm still kind of freaked out. But at least, at least I have that. So let's continue, because this is not a good idea. My wife woke me up last night to tell me there was an intruder in our house. She was murdered by an intruder two years later. I got this with me, yo. I got a little something something just in case, man. 
Like, I don't... This shit, man, I don't know if I'm gonna make it all the way through. I never go to sleep, but I keep waking up. That's not that bad. I just need a whole bunch more of these not creepy ones. Okay, the last thing I saw was my alarm clock flashing 12.07 before she pushed her long, rotting nails through my chest. Her other hand muffling my screams. I sat bolt upright, relieved it was only a dream. But as I saw my alarm clock read 12.06, I heard my closet door creak open. That looked like it wasn't gonna be that bad until it was. Ooh. I jump out the goddamn window. I don't know. I jump out the Ooh. window, nigga. Damn that. Damn all of that. She went upstairs to check on her sleeping toddler. The window was open and the bed was empty. Okay, that's awful. But again, nowhere near as bad as some of these other ones, Joe. It sh Ooh. Ooh. my head all the way up. I can't sleep, she whispered, crawling into bed with me. I woke up cold, clutching the dress she was buried in. <sighs> Lord, give me strength. I begin tucking him into bed, and he tells me, Daddy, check for monsters under my bed. I look underneath for his amusement and see him. Another him under the bed. Staring back at me, quivering and whispering, Daddy, there's someone, there's somebody on my bed. What the f <gasps> Who is making these? After working a hard day, I came home to see my girlfriend cradling our child. I didn't know which was more frightening, seeing my dead girlfriend and stillborn child, or knowing that someone broke into my apartment to place them there. Yeah, man. That. Get the fuck out and never come back ever. You get home tired after a long day's work and ready for a relaxing night alone. You reach for the light switch, but another hand is already there. After I get done with this, yo, it's literally 2:30 in the morning. It's 2:31 right now. I'm literally gonna leave the house and go chill somewhere else. I can't be in here feeling like this, bro. I can't do this. I always thought my cat had a staring problem. She always seemed fixated on my face until one day when I realized that she was always looking just behind me. That one could be worse. It's not as bad as it could be. My daughter won't stop crying and screaming in the middle of the night. I visit her grave and ask her to stop, but it doesn't help. Oh. Who is making these, man? Why are they so good? She asked why I was breathing so heavily. I wasn't. That one's not bad. I woke to the sound of the baby monitor crackling with a voice comforting my firstborn child. As I adjusted to the new monitor, my arm brushed against my wife, sleeping next to me. Shut the f up, cat! It's like they know I'm freaked out and they make little noises to f me. There's nothing like the laughter of a baby unless it's 1 a.m. and you're home alone. Oh my god. I only got four more, five more left, bro. A girl heard her mom yell her name from downstairs. She, so she got up and started to head down. As she got to the stairs, her mom pulled her into her room and said, I heard that too. Growing up with cats and dogs, I got used to the sounds of scratching at my door while I slept. Now that I live alone, it is much more unsettling. And all of the time that I've lived alone in this house, I swear to God I've closed more doors than I've opened. God. That's really scary, kinda actually. That was so much f scarier than I could have ever f imagined. And I have a very overactive imagination. So it made it so much f worse. I don't understand why that was scary. It's 2.36 in the morning right now, man. And now my brain is f with me. I'm legit about to leave. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get out the fucking house. And I'm gonna go kick it or something somewhere. I'm gonna do something because I don't want to stay in the house tonight, bro. 
His, I don't even want, I'm, I'm sleepy. I don't even want to go to sleep. I'm freaked the fuck out. Like, realistically, I know nothing's here. But, at the same time, my brain is with me, yo. Real bad. So, with that being said, man, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want more of these next time. I'll probably do it in a... Next time, I'll do them in the daytime so that this doesn't happen. This is why I don't watch scary videos at night. I don't watch or do anything scary at night because this is what happens. Um, Twisms. I don't bother this.